Hello, welcome to Angie's Craft Corner, and yes, my hands is a mess. I mean, I've been playing this morning. Um, we are going to do this little Christian faith card, Walk by Faith, Not by Sight. The um, Walk by Faith, Not by Sight is from MayMayMadeIt.com. I love these. I love this set. And it's the name of the set is Keep the Faith. And then I, for the rest of it, I use this set that came from Wish.com. And I just use this flower, this, and this little itty bitty butterfly. And um, I used these markers. Oh, and I used the green. Let's let me figure out what all I need here. And then I used um, let's see, Mozzie. No, I don't want that one. Let's do old, old olive and stamping it. I'm using Stay Zone Black Ink, Jet Black Ink, with this. Let's figure out the. I got one missing. Oh well. And the thing with Stay Zone, it does stain your stamps. So if you don't like your stamps being stained, I advise you not to use it. But as you can tell, my blocks are stained, and I mean, it don't bother me. This thing is pain in the high need to open. I have did I have figured that out. But it does give a a darker black image than the Mento ink. And it stinks. I'm sorry. Stay down, company. That stuff stinks. Mostly if you're in a closed up area. Walk by faith, not by sight. Okay, I'll quit singing because I know I can't sing. That was bad. May I have to start this one out? Mm. Okay, we'll just flip it over and do it this way. <laughs> There's always one other way of killing the board. Does anybody else do that? Make a mistake and just flip it over? And y'all, I'm, I'm not even going to edit it out because I want y'all to see that I'm not perfect by no means. And I have, I make just mistakes just like everybody else. A lot of times I toss it and nobody ever knows it. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, that looks a lot better. Okay. Like I said, it does, I mean, you can tell I'm cleaning my stamps, but it's not coming off. I 
and that's just stays on. Okay. I'm going to use old olive for the the leaves in it like this. And I'm going to just stamp off. That's why I have a piece of scrap paper. Although a lot of times I don't use the uh, scrap paper. As y'all know, I just stop stamping. I guess that's all I'm doing. Okay, in one video over the weekend, I think it was, I said something about um, showing y'all how to blend with these cheap markers from Leisure Aunt. You can get 60 of them at Walmart for like 10 bucks. And they're pretty nice little markers. Um, like I said, they cheap, but you can do, but I have figured out you can do what you can with Copics or Spectre Normals. And that made it even better for me. Because I'm always looking for cheaper ways of doing stuff. But, I mean, they blend. You can tell they blend. So, I'm just going to start down here. And with Stay Zone, the good thing of it is it don't, it don't run like a lot of inks does so when it gets wet it's you know it's pretty well and I like the bugle tip to do this and all I'm doing is just coloring in with two different oranges, but they blend. I mean, they blend. So if you want to use, I mean, you can also use um, the um, market or Sharpies to do the same thing as Copics and uh, Spectrinals. This is just, you know, a cheap way of using uh, cheaper markers. And this is water-based, I do believe. I mean, they weren't great with water. So... With, I mean, you know, you can do different things with it. Okay, sorry about that. And I may get interrupted again. I should have done this the last few days while I was home by myself, but life goes on. And like I said, you can use these to um, blend. If you like to watercolor, you can do that also with these. And um, they go a little good with the Stampin' Up Inks and the Mentos. I mean, I have the little mini Mentos, but most of those I have used uh, my Stampin' Up Ink refills on them. And, uh, 
because I really don't care as long as I close that corner. And, uh, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <sighs> Like I said, it's one of those days. I'm fixing. And I'm just trying to do some videos this, today. To okay. <laughs> Now I'm just going to switch to the green. And I got a darker green and a lighter green. <coughs> and if y'all don't know, my maid's at my feet. Try biting on my toes. So if I holler yap, y'all know why. <laughs> I will try my best not to, but. I ain't promising nothing when it comes to my toes. And yes, I do get caught when I'm thinking. So, and I do talk to myself. I'm real good at that one. I forget I'm even on video sometimes and start talking. So, if y'all ever hear me, just overlook me. Because I sit out here a lot of times by myself playing. And I don't even think about if I screw up. We are expecting a UPS today, so we may get interrupted by him even. <laughs> I had to order a protect the glass cover for my phone, the protector. For some odd reason, mine broke. I'm one on phones. My husband will tell you. I have broke. I don't know how many screens lately. Now I'm just going to take my yellow and color the inside of it. And I did, I, as you can tell, I just marked it off a little because I'm really... I don't want my corners to blend or to get muddy. 
I'm going to use pumpkin pie from Stampin' Up for this little butterfly. And it would be, well, I say I'm going to. Like I said, it's just a little itty bitty butterfly. But it just gives it the cardboard it needs. And I'm going to use um, one of the yellows from Stampin' Up. I haven't thought about which one yet. But the fun thing of these is you can layer it and make your own backgrounds. I mean, I love doing my own backgrounds. I mean, I get really in depth sometimes to my cards and I don't even realize it until later when I, somebody says something. I just start playing. I'm going to use crush cherry, cherry, cherry for the yellow. Sorry about that. My smartwatch is going off. Okay. I'm going to clean this little itty bitty stamp. I mean, see how little that sucker is? Yeah, it's little. <clears throat> I'm going to put my stamp set back together. Because if I don't, I forget. And then I, I screw up later. I don't have a piece lost. Or... But, you know, a lot of people think you can't mix and match different uh, sets. I'm totally the opposite. I think that's why a lot of what makes a lot of the coins prettier. And don't be afraid to mix and match. I had a lady say to me the other day that um, you can't do that. And I'm like, uh, excuse me, I do it all the time. And uh, she was like, no, you can't really. I'm like, yeah, you can. And if y'all want to know what I'm digging for is a piece of a cotton ball. I'm going to use the pumpkin pie again in the cotton ball. And I'm going to just ink around the card base of my card with it. And uh, just like so. And I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I'm just inking the edges to make it look like it's um, orange ink um, paper underneath and that's the fun I, I guess if I had to have supplies to me it would be my ink pads cotton balls and stamps and white cardstock because white cardstock I can change into 
if I've got, you know, different color ink pads, it don't bother me to use my ink that way. I mean, you can de-stress, you can do so much with just an ink pad that you can't with color cardstock. And, you know, a lot of times when I go to a crop, all I take is the white cardstock with me because of the fact that I know I can do make my own backgrounds. I can do, you know, and that's the, to me, that's what I enjoy doing. Now, some people, I, I understand some people does not enjoy my enthusiastic of doing uh, their own backgrounds. I understand that totally. And if you not, you know, that's you. And the fun thing of doing the cards is it's your creations, not somebody else's. It's not, you know, somebody else's idea. Well, sometimes it is. But for the most part, you know, you you get to uh, pay, do what you like. I mean, I'm not usually one to use orange or yellow in my card making. I mean... If you've watched me at any length of time, I'm a pink, purple, blue type of gal. <coughs> I forgot we screwed up on that one. And uh, I'm going to use my ATG gun to, to tape this on. And I'm done. I guess it's a good thing of my smartwatch going off telling me it's at after 12. Mm -hmm. I'm having trouble. But here we go. And here's the one that I used for um, when I'm done all of your over the weekend, or last week, late last week, and, uh, I don't know which one I like, but, so, that's, you know, using cheap markers to blend, and, um, uh, Stampin' Up ink, stays on black ink, I think I used Mento ink on this one, so, I hope y'all enjoy this card making. And thank you, May May made it dot com for the um, scriptural religion stamps. I do love them. Thank you for following your heart where God leads you. And uh, she did not sponsor this video. But I want to give her credit for God leading on, God's leading on with her business. And I do love her stamps. And I love watching them. If y'all, I mean, my dog's name, May May. And that's how she get, came up with her name because I was talking to my husband and she'd answer to May May. So I don't know what the little regret is right now, probably underneath my feet. But. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see y'all next time. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Visit us at AngieCraftCorner.com. And we'll see you next time. Have a blessed day.